hey guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time you're welcome if it's your second time your third time welcome back best friend i know you guys missed me i'm sorry i haven't posted in a while in a long time yes i haven't i've just been busy i was looking for a new job the stress of going around blah 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 blah, blah like that you know you guys should understand me so uh, it hasn't been easy i really didn't have time to film and a set of nonsense excuses like that my fault i'm sorry uh so if you if you don't know if you don't know yet let me let me let me inform you if you haven't subscribed go right ahead and hit that subscribe button and when you click that subscribe button don't forget there's a bell there click it so you get notified when i post new good videos like this slay videos okay okay all right okay now we set it up don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share with your friends comment down in the section below let me know what you guys think yes and this is just the get ready with me video uh like i said it's a chit chat video about life in the uae it hasn't been easy but but it has been worth it okay all right oh my god oh my god i'm so sorry guys happy new year i'm so like i'm so late i know but happy new year guys like it's freaking 2019 hope you have your goals set out hope you have your plans for 2019 down if you don't take your time just take about five ten minutes sit think about what you want to do in 2019 and write it out and make sure you work towards it okay don't just write it down and just be like oh, i wrote it down uh -huh. no work towards it okay we need to make sh money much money this year all right we need to grow like i said this year is for growth and glow okay we need to grow and we need to glow oh that glow has to be extra this year man like don't give a fuck about anybody excuse my language but don't give a shit about anybody and make that money all about yourself self-love all right guys so without further ado without talking too much or which already which i did already i know i know right let's go right into the video what's up guys so i don't know today's story i don't even know where to start from but okay it's a get ready with me video so for my primer i'm using my pawns as usual uh i'll just I probably might not be able to say all the products i used i'll just show you guys and if you can't see i'll just link it down in the description box below so be sure to check it out so um basically we're just talking about life in the uae 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 when i mean uae some people they don't i mean like dubai i basically stay in abu dhabi so life in abu dhabi is just like quiet you get me if you if you're in lagos if you're a nigerian you know what i'm talking about like abu dhabi is just like abuja you know the way abuja is quiet full of rich people blah 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 yaddy 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 that's how it is here and dubai is just like lagos the noisy city like freaking noisy uh, so well but it's been it's been it's been cool i've been here for this is my third year now yeah third year going and it's been it's been okay but the only way you enjoy UAE is if you have like bon bunch of friends like so many friends uh life living here is like expensive and not expensive at the same time because you have to have like a very good job to be able to like sustain yourself and live okay here like a really good paying job like when i got here two years ago my first job wasn't like that good it was it was good but it wasn't like paying well the time was like 12 hours every day imagine working 12 i worked from 10 to 10 in the morning so imagine working 12 hours every single day of the week except one day you just have one day off i started having my off like monday at first because i used to work as a swimming instructor uh, but right now i'm into fitness like gym and all that so well that's it so life here wasn't like so bad because the company i was working with at first they provided like free accommodation but trust me you don't want to stay in company accommodation mm -mm, mm -mm. and as african 
to get our food here is like so hard i don't know about any other country but i mean nigeria mm, it's hard baby you have to go all the way because i stay in abu dhabi we don't have like uh food vendors like people that sell raw african nigerian food in abu dhabi no nah, i haven't seen any i really don't stay in abu dhabi city i stay outside the city so i have to go all the way down to the city and i have like a friend in the city he basically said he hasn't seen any so if i need african food i have to go all the way down to dubai trust me you don't want to be there <laughs> it was like it's always so annoying because sometimes i run out of food and i'm like really hungry like i'm just craving african food maybe pepper soup or yam and egg you feel me or oh, i'm craving amala some good nigerian food and there's no place to get it you have to go all the way to dubai and trust me going to dubai public transportation because i don't have a car yet so going to dubai in public transportation is like ugh, headache headache takes you about how many hours to get there when you drive you get in like one hour one hour uh thirty one hour twenty minutes max if i'm going with public transport it takes me about two two three hours to get there so you don't like going through that is like so annoying so apart from the food being like really hard to get for nigerians another thing that is so annoying about living here is dealing with the men like i know okay men are like that almost everywhere but here it's just i don't know it's just so different it's just so so different like they are very 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 i can't emphasize enough annoying you don't want to know how annoying they are here like the guys here you don't want to know how annoying and it's just like the way you have the annoying ones you have the really cool nice ones that are really like down to earth that you just want to be friends with that you get me like oh you just ha you're just happy to have as friends but there's some that are like i don't know i think i just th at this point in time i just blame the ladies like especially the black ladies for this bullshit like you come here instead of you know you're in another man's country everybody's trying to make money okay everybody wants to everybody has family back home everybody has stuffs they need to handle yes we all need money but please 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 like stop downgrading yourself for these motherfuckers sorry for my language like stop downgrading yourself for these mfs like they're so not worth it and the annoying thing is you have some they just like okay they go meet up like they see a man and man is like oh like it gets to a point like everywhere anywhere i go to i'm dressing nice looking good i just want to like go out maybe see a movie have fun and the next thing here is a guy just walks up to you you're thinking oh, okay he's checking me out he thinks i'm cute okay he wants to be my friend and the only thing you hear from me is oh the one that even pisses me off is how much like how much for what do i look like i'm selling food do i look like i'm selling something like why would you just walk up to me and be like how much like guy i could slap you i could literally just end you where you're standing like how can you ask me how much like you can be just waiting for a bus waiting at the bus station and all this foolish dirty really there's some like the pakistans they're like so dirty they just walk up to you and be like how much how much like how much for what for what exactly it's so so fucking annoying even the ones i don't ask you how much maybe they want to make they want to touch it up now and make it like a bet a better way to approach you they just walk up to you and be like oh uh do you give massage did i advertise to you that i'm a monsieur like why would you just come up to me and be like you want massage or do i give massage did i tell you that i'm working as a monsieur or what like Please respect yourself. Me, as in, no, no, no. It, it happened to my friend. I have a Ghanaian friend. She went to she went to the city because we work together the same place. So she went to the city to wait for her boy to see her boyfriend. So he was keeping her waiting. She was so angry, like she was waiting for like a long time. And then she, where she was standing, somebody just walked up to her and was like, he was passing her by and was like, how much? He went. He came back again how much then he got to a point she was just she was just looking at him like she was just standing there like 
he did it for the last time and she was like you want me to slap you you want me to I'm... when she told me i'm like babe sorry <laughs> it happens to almost everybody like they are just the like and when they even when they even ask you the how much it's not as if they want to give you like a good amount of money they basically want to give you like 100 dirhams bitch 100 dirhams is not it's just like 27 dollars it's just like in Naira, it's like 10,000 Naira. Like, who would stress for a dirty looking man, even if I was into that shit, who would stress for a dirty looking man for just 100 dirhams? 100 dirhams is something I used to take taxi. Like, fuck it, just fucking taxi. Like, no, the way it annoys me, you guys don't want to understand. Even the ones like, probably you, maybe I want to go out right now. Because, I, like I told you guys, I stay outside. The city so to get a bus you have to wait like every two hours to get the bus that's where i was staying before you have to wait every two hours so sometimes you come out you miss the bus already maybe like the bus is just going and there's no way you can catch up with the bus so somebody can just stop by to offer you a lift it's a lift the person is going to the city like save yourself the money and you'll be like oh okay if you're going to offer me a lift i'm gonna take it thank you then you get in the car and the person is just like oh where are you from trying to like form conversation okay let's talk we are having a conversation but the next thing is oh okay so uh how long have you been here okay so next thing the guy is grabbing his dick and he's like really grabbing his dick and he's looking at you and he's grabbing his dick like nigga what the fuck no 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 like what the fuck even one happened to me the guy wanted to give me a lift i'm like oh okay thank you i got in the car and next thing he was about to like was was touching me was touching my laps i'm like nigga stop the fucking car like just stop 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 i want to get out like it was so annoying i was like nigga no just stop he was like no i will not touch i said stop the car i want to come down and the guy was like okay i promise i'll not touch you again blah 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 blah. and when i entered the car at first it was smoking so i was like mm -mm, i don't smoke and it was like i hate the smell so it was like choking me out so and the was like, oh, you're not comfortable? I said, yes, I'm not comfortable. He said, oh, okay. He took out the cigarette. So because I didn't allow him to touch me, and I wasn't into the shit he wanted, then the guy said, oh, okay, I will not touch you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I will not touch you. Then the guy took the cigarette again, lit it, and this time around, before he, like, rolled down the, the glasses, and this time around, he just rolled up. It's his own side. He just rolled down a bit, and we was just smoking. And I'm like, dude... Do you want to kill me? I was like, huh, huh? Then he started acting like he doesn't understand English. Huh? No, 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 no. I'm like, savage, motherfucker. Like, I see you. I see what the fuck you're doing. Oh, I see you, my nigga. Like, I was so... I was like, oh, now I get it. This is how you guys are. They are savages. Especially the Egyptian. Like, you have the Egyptian guys. The Moroccan guys. Like, this is no shade. I have a Moroccan friend. She's really cool. Like, I've worked with an Egyptian lady before. She's good. Like, but the guys, no. Some of them are just, like, fucking savages. They're just annoying assholes. They're just people you can't, you don't want to, you don't even want to deal with. Like, I think the topic for the men in UAE, that's, like, for another day. Because if I should go deep down into it, if I should tell you stories, like, stuff I've experienced with them here, oh, my God. Oh my god, you won't you won't even want to like see them. You won't want to see them, you won't even want to smell them. That's how annoying they are. Uh for the ladies, I have not so many. I don't see I'm not I'm not a friend person. I don't know how to keep friends. I don't know how to make friends the same way. If I go, I'm like if I go for a party, I'm always like, if you don't come talk to me, I'm just gonna be looking at you like this. I don't know how to stand up and be like, oh, nice dress. Oh, like, start in, no, no, no. I don't know how to do that stuff. I'm just not that kind of person. So, excuse me. So, uh, the ladies, some are like bitches. Trust me. Some are like real bitches. They, they discriminate. They're racist. Some, some, like I said, some. Very few. I've encountered some like that. They're like racist. And I don't blame them. I think it's just because they feel... Every other girl coming to this country wants to come snatch their man or wants to come marry their man or stuff like that. Wants to come be their man's side chick, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. And there are some that are like down to earth. Like, no, no, no. 
where I worked before, I had like customers that are like, really, really down to earth. They're like so freaking chilled. Up to now, my best friend, she's local. And she's like the best girl ever. <laughs> I would have posted her pictures, but no, I can't. She's like the best girl ever. And there's a lady in my life right now. No, I don't mean it in a bad way. Trust me. She's like really, really cool. She's like, I don't want to say how I'm related to her. Because at the end of the day, it might end up like cursing headache for her. So let's just leave that aside. But she's like the best lady ever. Sweet, sweet lady. She's like the best sweet lady ever. She's really nice. She's really cool, down to earth. She always takes me, like, she always wants us to hang out. She always wants to take me out. Like, I've made a couple of friends here. Life here is like, when you have friends, when you have, like, the good friends, the cool friends, well, and again, I think it just depends on everybody's way of making friends or keeping friends. Or, I don't know. It's just based on every everybody's lifestyle. Your lifestyle is different. You are the party, party freak. You are the non... I don't know. You get along well. You 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 find the bullshit people to deal with you. But if you're the non-bullshit person, well, it takes you a while to find the non-bullshit people to deal with. Okay? I just believe that living here is like... I always see it. To me, I see it as a stepping stone. Like, if you want to, like, if you're just starting your life and you just want to start somewhere afresh, you just want to start somewhere new, you don't want to be in your country, this is, like, the right place to start. Because, see, to get Yankee visa, to get American visa is, like, hard. In my country, I know it's hard. I don't know about any other place, but in my country, I know it's hard. So, to get, like, American visa is really hard. But to get UAE visa, it's not hard. You just want to, okay, you're going for vacation. You can just get a three-month visa and be like, you're going for vacation. You come in, already maybe you have a place to stay. Getting a place to stay is not like that easy. You have to get like a bed space. Or if you have a friend that you're going to like stay with, you can stay with the person. But if you don't, you can just get a bed space, come in. Like getting a visa is not that hard for this place. And you can just come. I always tell people when you're coming here, don't expect that you just get the big job and the big pay. No, it's not going to happen. Trust me, it's not, it doesn't happen like that. The <laughs> fact that you're black and you don't have experience in their country, but not big well, let me put it that way. You're black because most of the places I go to, like I have somebody I was going for a job, my friend's boyfriend, he was going for a job for like almost a year and everywhere he goes to, they're like, we don't employ blacks. We're not looking for blacks. We're not looking for blacks. Like they always majorly want Filipinos like that to employ. So... Trust me, getting the job here is not like that easy. It's not. Only if you have like handwork. Maybe you're an instructor and you have, trust me, instructor, you have your certificates. Okay, if you don't, uh, 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 you don't even want to like experience the shit they're going to make you go through. You don't want it. So, if you're like an instructor or, okay, you know how to make hair, you want to work in like salons. Or you just want to set for the list that's like housekeeping then you can just you can just do that but if you know okay you can do makeup you can do hair you're willing to learn more like whenever you come i talk when you come here just expect the list don't expect like something so much something glamorous like oh you're going to be living the big life your first year yeah i don't know what you want to be doing i want to live the big life maybe you want to start in prostitution that might pay you if you have the right links but trust me you don't even how much how much you want to charge your prostitution <laughs> that wants to make you big money oh my god like you just have to have hustle man you just need to have like your own hustle so if you know how to do makeup good for you if you know how to sew clothes like if you had a, if you have a handwork it's going to be like better for you because then they see okay you know something they see what you can do. Maybe you know how to do waxing. Waxing. Why do, why do that? Always twist my tongue. You know how to do waxing. You know how to thread the eyebrows. You know how to do the eyebrows. You know how to make color. You know how to do mani pedi. It's good for you. You come in. You get a salon job that pays at least well. That play, pays a good reasonable amount. And you start off with that. Once you start off with that, if it's a good company. What am I drawing? What the heck am I drawing? 
if it's a good company sorry if it's a good company you probably work shifts maybe eight hours or six hours where they do shifts and some they tell you just work for like 10 hours straight or 12 hours straight and they give you like two days off but most salons here they give just one day off and it's mostly 12 hours job hardly would you see you see some that do like shift like okay they do shift you do morning shifts or you do evening shifts there's some that are like that i'm just drawing rubbish on my eyes i don't know i don't know guys so if you find a job that's gonna like you do you like you're going to work like eight hours or shift it's better because then you can have like two hustles you get me you can have like extra job you do outside maybe nights part-time it gets you extra money that way you make more money okay so for me i was doing 12 hours at first so it wasn't like making me so much money it's just i have bills i have stuff to deal with so like it wasn't just wasn't just all that but we thank god but now i'm happy i found a new job the pay is like way better trust me when i say way better it's like way way better and at least i have weekends off i can use for my youtube and also i have part-time i'm gonna try to get part-times outside so it's like i have i'm working three jobs right now so like i said this year is for hustle like growth and glow we have to make the money people we have to make the money instead i'm gonna be posting more videos more freaking good videos like i basically just do my videos on the weekend and during the weekdays i just edit and post edit and post that's how i'm going to just do it it's not, it might not be like so much videos but it'll be something it would be worth it trust me it would be worth it <sighs> i want advice if you want to make friends here like you go on all these sites maybe like instant message uh tinder what's that tinder you want to like meet new friends you think you just want to well you might you might you meet some good people but trust me out of 100 people you meet in a day 90 percent no 98 percent just want sex from you like 98 percent is just they're asking you how much just telling you shit trust me i'm just i'm telling you this from experience 98 percent they don't want anything good from you but we have that two percent that they just want to make friends okay they just want to like be cool they just want to like be cool make friends see new people that's just them but we have that 98 percent that they're so annoying they just want to piss you off by asking you how much I mean, for the guys, though. Uh, this is a, a glitter eyeshadow I got from NYX. And I really, I'm not using any glue, as you guys can see. I'm just, like, packing it on. Just for that extra shimmer. Mm. Right now, I have a friend. Like, I tried how many times to get job at Sephora. But it's not that easy. To get a job at Sephora, you have to go to the group of companies online, submit your CV. Like, to get a job here, you need to just... If you don't have experience with a company, you don't have experience here in their country, it's going to be hard for you to get a good paying job. That's why I say if you're coming here first, you need to like just settle for anything. You need to be ready. Be prepared. To, oh shit! You need to be, be. You need to be prepared to settle for like anything. 
settle for the money and once you're done with that job then you know okay yes after your contract then you know okay yes i could change now i can get more salary i could save more stuff like that and it's just funny how my friends be like oh you're in the uae bring get get an arab husband like excuse me ma'am excuse me did, did i tell you that they're sharing they're handing out husbands here did i tell you they're handing out husbands for free here no plus they don't just marry outsiders one you can't speak arabic uh you're a big outsider that's a no no number one number two you're black <laughs> like the only black people you see them marrying sudanese maybe moroccans if you're black or white whatever uh kenyans they speak swahili so they tend to like marry people like that but nigerians I don't think I've seen any local married marrying in Nigerian. I've not heard of that story. I've not seen like excuse me ma'am, it's hard. <laughs> it is hard. So please, if you're here you want to get a boyfriend, just settle for European, American, somebody from your country, somebody black, but if you wanna go all the way to the local, like first of all, are you a virgin? If you're not a virgin, forget it. Like forget it. You might be lucky enough, like my friend used to tell me, to find maybe the ones that are like not, they don't have that uh, UAE mentality, let me put it that way. They don't have that Arabic mentality that they want to be like, oh, okay, I can marry anybody, I really don't care. Maybe they grew up in the States or in London. Well, if you're lucky enough, you would find, if you're lucky enough and you find, good for you but that's like a uh, one percent out of hundred percent trust me one percent out of hundred you're not local you're not from a big family from here <laughs> if you think here you can trap somebody with pregnancy ah good luck oh. <laughs> trap eh at least lagos your baby father Baby father, he will support you, give you money, he will do all that, he will be responsible who wants the child here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or you or you you're on your own. Like, <laughs> hey, they won't even bother about yourself. They will just like, even if the guy is like, okay, I'm going to take responsibility, the family will not let you rest. Oh, no. No, no, no. They feel you just because they have money. That's why. That's why you like you just came to trap the guy down with pregnancy. That's what they that's what they know. There's nothing you want to say. They'll be like, Oh, I'm justifying myself. And say, just carry your child, your pregnancy, everything. Just leave the country. Or you just stay alone and just try to hustle your ass out for the child. And here yourself. If you're not married, if you don't have like if you're not married everything married people do it's going to be like so illegal for you i don't know it's just them here like they believe they don't believe like the law here doesn't doesn't support you just being a baby mama or you just sleeping around no you know it's islamic the law doesn't like the law doesn't allow that so even if you go to the hospital you can't get like birth control pills just the way you get it anyhow in the pharmacy or no no you cannot. <laughs> that is going to be like jump. Like you want to ride jump, man. Like you, you do even want to even try it in the first place. Probably end up in a police station or something. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you would. So you don't want, you don't want to. You don't, you don't want to put yourself in that position. You don't want to put yourself in that, in that situation. Just see my fancy beauty on my face. Like really guys, I don't think there's really much to know about here. Some people that just deceive people and be like, Oh, when you come here you would you would get a really good job. Ah, oh, life here is sweet. And see it's not sweet like that. It's not just rosy. It is not. You have to start from somewhere. You've forgotten it's not your country? 
you have to start from somewhere. You should be ready to go through the hustle and the bustle just to be able to make it. Um, what else can I talk about? I don't know. Obviously, talk about the hard parts. Not really hard, but the job part, like I said, it's not easy to get a job here. It's not that easy. Especially if you're a newcomer. Like, you don't have experience here at all. Like, most people, some people that I know of, they've come and they've gone on three months visa without finding a job. So, like I said, it's not that easy. It is not. My Ghanaian friend, before she found her first job, <laughs> and she was literally going home every day to cry to her boyfriend, like, I can't, I want to go back home. I want to just go back home, I can't. This place is not, it's not easy, it's tough, it's hard. We all know it's hard. You just have to be ready for the works, the stress. Like when I, when I was looking for my second job, oh Jesus, I walked, I walked, <laughs> inside the hot sun, and the sun here is not smiling. Mm. Trust me, you know it's a desert, it's a desert country, right? I walked my ass off. I was walking every day. Another thing that is like really annoying for me staying here is makeup, finding your own shape. Like I literally am dark, obviously, but to get your own shade of makeup, it's like really hard. You have to go all the way. For me, I stay in Abu Dhabi, yeah? I have to go all the way to Dubai more. Like, I have to sacrifice a whole day. I have to sacrifice a whole day to just say, okay, I'm going to Dubai today, to Dubai more, to get makeup. And if you feel okay, and that's what I'm saying, foundation. Foundation, concealers you can, you can get, not anywhere, but you can get around. But when it comes to foundation, that's the hard part. Like, around me here, I have Yasmo. But Yasmo is not like 100% guaranteed that you find your shade. Nope, it's not. Sometimes you get there, they're like, they're sold out. You have to go all the way to the Bible. And if you don't know your shade, you can't just order online. If you don't know your shade, you cannot. Don't try it. Don't try to order online. Because they'll just bring shit for you. I'm not highlighting my forehead. I know you guys are wondering. I'm not highlighting my forehead because I have a big forehead. So, see, it is shining enough. It's okay for me. Like, most of the things, again, you have to, like, get online clothes. You know, in Nigeria, we have, like, so many clothes vendors that it's not, it's not hard to get clothes. Like, you see sexy clothes everywhere. It's like so easy. You want to go for the yeah, bandage dresses, sexy opening. But here, mm -mm. you can't. You can't just get like that. Like you go to the mall and you just think you find the sexy. Well, Zara you find. But is it every day you, you just want to go to Zara and just buy Zara stuff? No. Sometimes you just, there's some clothes you just want that you just get to the store and you can't find. For me, a lot, a lot of clothes I just some pants i just want so you eventually have to order online maybe from fashion nova but fashion Nova again you order and the shipping price is like ex it's like it's like killing you so for me i just order from shein it's free shipping down to the uae so <laughs> who doesn't like free shipping eh? <laughs> who doesn't so i order from shein and it's just, it works better for me. I haven't ordered from, okay, I ordered from no Fashion Nova before when I was here, but I didn't order, like, I had a friend order it for me. I had a friend order it for me, and they, they delivered here. At least I didn't pay for the, for the shipping, so. Uh, so I'm using my black up powder. Like, today, right now, I just have a friend, she's inviting me out. I don't even know what the outing is about. She just told me, come, 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 come. Meet me in the city, blah, blah, blah. So hence, a girl has to look freaky. 
Now this is an angle brush. Just apply oud. That shade I use for my outer crease. And just smoke my eyes out. Just taking this makeup forever black pencil and just going to line my waterline. This is the finished look, guys. I uh, just went ahead to do my hair wig real quick and just change my outfit, which I'm still not sure this is what I'm going to wear. But at least I have something on. So let me know in the comment section down if you guys like this look. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel. And I'll be coming right up with my new video very soon. All right? Okay? So, <laughs> bye guys.